So today's video is going to be a product recommendation video and it's product recommendations for oily skin. <laughs> That was a lot. But I'm here to share these products with you guys because I know I'm on the struggle bus too of having oily skin. Having oily skin sucks and I know having dry skin sucks and it's just a hard thing to deal with but I am your guinea pig and I am down for trying new products to help find the best stuff to recommend to you guys. And I feel like I have a good roundup of products here so I wanted to share them with you and if you have any product recommendations then leave them down below in the comments because I would love to try some new products and I'm sure a lot of other people would too. So yeah, if you want to see all the products that I recommend for oily skin, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first one is this Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. This is the mattifying primer. I like this a lot. The only thing that I would recommend is to put this in the areas where you are super oily, like I'm talking shiny within minutes. And for me, that's right here in my cheek area, right here in the middle of my eyebrows and on my chin. Because if you apply this to an area that is not as oily and is a little bit dry, it will ball up and kind of just look weird under your foundation and give you this like super weird texture. So only apply it where you're super, super oily and it will keep you matte throughout the day. This is like my spring summer primer because when I just can't find anything to help me in the hot months, this one usually does it for me. So this is the makeup. Up Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer, and I love it. Okay, this next one is not necessarily something to keep you matte, but it's really great at moisturizing your skin and not making you overly oily. So this is a Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. You can see I love this stuff. Um, I just love this because it has coconut water in it, electrolytes, and probiotics, and it is silicone free. It's just so good. It really moisturizes your skin, but it doesn't overdo it and make you shiny. Like, it sinks into the skin really quickly. It makes everything feel nice and plump and ready for foundation. So, I love this a lot. I have very oily skin, and I haven't had any issues with it. So, definitely check this out if you're looking for something that's really going to plump up the skin and make it nice and moisturized, but not overly oily. For your foundation. Okay, and these next two primers are the ones I've been using for a few months now. I just love them. I'm on my second bottle of this, or two of this. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and this is the pore minimizing one. And this is oil free. And if you have oily skin, oil free is key just because you don't want that extra oil. First off, it can make you break out because oily skin is prone to breakouts and things like that. And then second of all, you already are producing so much oil, you don't need extra oils or all that jazz on your skin, you know what I mean? So oil free is key, and I really, really like this. I apply it right in my T-zone, and I just rub it all over. I don't really put it on the outer parts of my face just because I don't feel like I need it there. But yes, I love this, and in conjunction with this, I love the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, silicone, alcohol, and oil free. I spray this first all over my face just to kind of like replenish the skin and get it ready for this primer and then foundation. And I just find these two together are a dream team and I just, I love them. They're just so good. It's, it's so awesome. And it is pore minimizing and since I do have oily skin, I do have larger pores around my cheek area. Comes with the territory. What are you going to do? I've learned to accept it. So um, it's nice to have a pore minimizing primer in the mix of this. Okay, so now I'm going to share foundations with you guys. And I do have three high-end and I have one drugstore. And I just find that high-end, more high-end brands cater to oily skin more than drugstore in my personal opinion and they look better on the skin but the one from the drugstore that I really do like is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This says it's a 24 hour foundation but I don't recommend wearing your foundation for 24 hours but it's a demi matte finish, air light, oil free and yeah it's just a semi matte foundation so it's not going to be like flat matte on your face. I like flat matte, don't get me wrong, but I also like semi matte as well. And yeah, I really like it. It does last quite a while on my skin. I would say about eight hours. I wouldn't necessarily go over that. But out of all the drugstore foundations for oily skin, I think this one is the best and the one that has worked best for me. So I love this a lot. And if you're on a budget and just want something really convenient and quick, these are at pretty much every single drugstore. Moving on to high end, this foundation is one I have recommended to you guys for years now. I just love it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is a very high coverage, intense foundation. And if you're go if you go too overboard with it, it will look cakey and it will look very foundationy. 
Um, but I love this with a beauty blender. I love it with a brush. I've gone through multiple bottles of this stuff and it's just amazing. I'm actually almost out of this one. Can you see that? Yeah, and I get a lot of questions about this pump. This pump is a MAC foundation pump, and it fits these foundations perfectly, which I highly recommend going and spending the extra money on it, just because pouring it out will waste some product. But this foundation is like a 24-hour foundation. I'm not even joking. Well, I would okay, I'm lying. I would say probably like 15 hours, 16 hours, I would have this foundation on. I don't know. It's so long wearing. Like, I will fall asleep with this foundation on my face sometimes, and I will wake up, and my face looks awesome like it's so crazy this does not move okay I love it I've had a lot of people say that this like flashbacks um, in photography so it makes a white cast on your face I've never had that issue but just full warning you it's what I've heard I would just test it out before if you're going to a formal event or something and use this just test it out with your own flash beforehand and see how it works on your skin and then this one is one I've been using so much recently it's the one I have on now and I just love it it is the Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfection Foundation this one is oil free as well and I'm in the shade warm beige it's what I have on and I just love this foundation this one does have a pump on it it just looks like your skin, but I don't know. It's like a semi-matte finish as well. It's not flat matte at all. It looks like your beautiful, natural skin. To me, it provides full coverage, and I, I just love this foundation so much. I can't get away from it right now. It's just what I've been reaching for, and I love it. And it keeps me matte for a long period of time, just as long as I set it. If I do not set this foundation, which I mean with any foundation, if I don't set it, it's not going to last as long, and it's not going to look as matte. But, oh, I honestly didn't have that high of hopes for this foundation. I tried it, fell in love. Favorite way to apply it is with a beauty blender, though, because I have rosacea, so I feel like the beauty blender really helps it cover up to a full coverage finish. And the last one I want to talk about is this Lancome, oh, I'm not going to be able to say this right, Tint Idol Ultra 24-hour makeup. I don't Wear and Comfort Retouch Free. This is kind of like the same thing as the Estee Lauder Dove Wear. This can look a little intense if you apply too much or you're and you just have a heavy hand with it. But if you do a light coverage of it with a beauty blender or something, it will look so good on the skin and it will last forever. I think Dove Wear lasts a little bit longer, but this one does last a really long time and it does have great coverage. So if you don't want to try Estee Lauder, definitely try Lancome and it's a great foundation. Okay, I only have two concealers to share with you guys. The first one is just a given, but I wanted to shout it out just in case you've never seen my videos before and you had no idea that I love this. Um, it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is amazing, amazing, amazing underneath the eyes but I also take my concealer down in like a triangle this does not make me more oily so that's why I really love it the coverage is amazing and it lasts so long if you use this and Estee Lauder Dove War together your makeup's not moving for the rest of the night guarantee you so I absolutely love that and then another one I love this one is not as long wearing but I do like it for like lighter days and this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and I just like this it's not oil free or anything but it doesn't you know make me even more oily around my cheek area which is what I appreciate so that is that. So I'm in the shade medium light and I really do like this. Like I said, I, I prefer the MAC Pro Longwear over it, but I do like this one as an alternative. I think it's really nice. So the last three things I want to mention to you guys are powders. And the first one is one I'm wearing now and I've been using this for such a long time. I can't even remember when I got this. Like it's been so long. I even have a travel size one that I keep in my purse. But it's the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Power and this is in the shade Translucent. I love this stuff. It gives you such flawless skin and it makes you so matte. I personally like to apply it with the beauty blender so after I put my concealer on I will take my beauty blender, dip it in here and press it into the areas where I want to put powder so usually just all in my t-zone and of course under my eyes to set that concealer and I let it sit there and then I take a little duo fiber brush like this and just kind of dust off any excess and it gives a very smooth matte finish which is what I appreciate and you can apply even just a little too much of this but dust it away and it'll look fine so highly recommend it is worth the money one from the drugstore that I really love is this elf perfect finish powder it's the perfect HD powder I'm sorry and it's just a powder like this it's just it's white but it's translucent like it just blends out into your skin but this gives a really really nice finish to the skin it kind of minimizes the look of pores keeps you matte and of course it's translucent so I mean I use this all throughout the year when I'm really tan when I'm pale 
any time of the year. It's just awesome to have in my purse. And this comes from e.l.f. so it's an affordable brand and I just, I really like this a lot. I think it's great. I usually keep this in my purse so that's why you guys don't see it in my videos as much but it's a perfect touch up powder or to set your makeup with. And the last product I want to recommend to you guys is my Holy Grail powder. So absolutely stunning. It is expensive, but it's stunning. I recommend this to everyone because it's amazing. And it is the Givenchy powder, and it's the matte and translucent finish. This is in the shade Universal Nude, and I love this powder. You can see I've been beating it up because I keep this in my purse as well. I just, I love this powder. It's such a fine powder. I had to take my puff out of it, so now it's everywhere. It's such a fine powder that it's undetectable, but it keeps you so stinking matte. I love it. It just fluffs into the skin so nicely. I mean, I don't know if fluff is the word, more like blend. It blends into the skin really nicely, but it's such a fine powder. It's even more fine than this Laura Mercier one, in my opinion. I am so obsessed with this, and I would never recommend something so expensive to you guys if it wasn't a miracle worker. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any product recommendations, then leave them in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on any of my videos. I will have a lot more videos coming for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.